take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Men and women have 12 pairs of ribs. A few individuals have 13 or 11 pairs. The idea that men have fewer ribs than women is widespread but wrong, perhaps deriving from the biblical story of Eve being made from one of Adam's ribs. Take our lead. Male bones are bigger and stronger, in both size and density. Peak male bone mass is around 50% more than women's, and women lose bone faster as we age. Black people have significantly stronger bones than whites. Black women's peak bone mass is the same as white men's. Women and men have the same number of ribs. Take our lead. Coastal rib. We think it is far more probable that it was Adam's baculum that was removed in order to make Eve. That would explain why human males, of all the primates and most other mammals, did not have one. The Hebrew noun translated as, rib, zela, zod, lamed, iron, can indeed mean a coastal rib. Make your mark, take our lead. The craniocaudal inclination of ribs is greater in females than males but the length of ribs has not previously been compared between the sexes. We conclude that in females the ribs grow longer in relation to the axial skeleton than in males. Take our lead. Did you know, one out of every 200 people are born with an extra rib? Each adult has 206 bones, 24 of which are ribs, 12 on each side. But approximately one out of every 200 people have an extra rib. This rib is referred to as the cervical rib. Take our lead. Extra ribs supernumerary ribs occur in about 0.5% of the population. Typically, they develop on the last vertebra of the neck, the seventh cervical vertebra, above the normal first rib. They are called cervical ribs, and they usually develop in pairs, although some people may only have one cervical rib. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.